Now coming to question number 17, which says let a1 less than a2 less than a3 less than a4 be positive integers such that summation of 1 upon a i, i from 1 to 4 is equal to 11 by 6. Then a4 minus a2 equals. Now please listen carefully. Here if I increase the values of a1, a2, a3, a4, the reciprocal of them will become lesser. So if I increase a1, a2, a3, a4 beyond certain value, their sum may not be equal to 11 by 6. For example, if I take my a1 to be greater than or equal to 2, and because a2 is greater than a1, a3 is greater than a2, a4 is greater than a3, then my maximum sum of 1 upon a1 plus 1 upon a2 plus 1 upon a3 plus 1 upon a4 will be if I take the this uh, sum of these reciprocal will take maximum only if I choose to have minimum possible values of a1 which is 2 here because I have made the condition a1 greater than or equal to 2 then this will be 1 upon 3 then this will be 1 upon 4 this will be 1 upon 5 and if you add them I think you will have to take the LCM which will be 60 so here it is 30 this is 20 this is 15 and this is 12 so you will be getting this to be uh, 50 65 77 upon 60 11 upon 6 is close to 2 or precisely 1.8 something whereas this will be 1.3 something so you can see it is less than 11 by 6 so if someone choose a1 to be 2 or higher then this sum cannot become equal to 11 by 6 so which directly says that a1 has to be equal to 1 okay i will tell you one objective method also but before that let us understand this properly so then 1 upon a2 plus 1 upon a3 plus 1 upon a4 will be equal to i will be subtracting one that side so it will become 5 by 6. now same way what i am going to do now because my a2 is greater than 1 so it can be either 2 or 3 or so on so let us explore if it can be greater than or equal to 3 or not i will be proceeding same way 1 upon a3 plus 1 upon uh, sorry 1 upon a2 1 upon a3 and 1 upon a4 the sum of these reciprocals the maximum possible value of this would be 1 upon 3 1 upon 4 1 upon 5 and you can do the similar calculation here also i think this 30 will not come here so this will be 47 upon 60 and you can check 5 by 6 is 0.8 greater than 0.8 actually and this is less than 0.8 so here this is less than 5 by 6 so once again this a2 cannot be greater than or equal to 3 so this a2 has to be equal to 2 only so far we have made we have uh, we have found that a1 will be 1 and we have found a2 to be equal to 2 so remaining 1 upon a3 plus 1 upon a4 will be equal to 11 by 6 minus 1 minus 1 by 2 which will be 5 by 6 minus 3. So I think it will be 1 by 3. 5 by 6 minus 1 by 2. 2 by 6, 1 by 3. That is correct. Now, my A3 could be 3 also because A1 is 1, A2 is 2. But I think if I take A3 as 3, because if A3 becomes 3, then A1 upon A4 will become 0. As otherwise, This 1 upon a4 will be 0, that is not possible. So a3 cannot be 3, so a3 can be 4. If a3 is 4, 1 upon a4 will be equal to uh, 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 4, it is 1 upon 12. So I think we are getting a4 to be 12 and all these values are integer. But let us explore if other possibility is also there or not. If I take a3 is equal to 5, if I take a3 is equal to 5, I think 1 upon a4 will be equal to 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 5 which will give you 2 upon 15 that means a4 will be 7.5 that is not possible because we are looking for positive integers. Now if a4 is 6 or greater than 6 then 1 upon a4 plus 1 upon 
one upon sorry if a3 is 6 or more then 1 upon a3 plus 1 upon a4 will be at max 1 upon 6 plus 1 upon 7 isn't it and which is lesser than 1 upon 3 which we are looking for so this is also not possible so i think that is the own possibility so i am saying that a1 will be 1 a2 will be 2 a3 will be 4 and a4 will be 12. in fact after this step this Diophantine equation can also be used by taking LCM and writing product of two integers. That way also it can be done and you can, you can see these will be the only possible solution. So here A2, uh, A4 minus A2, A4 minus A2 has to be 10. That is the answer for this question. Little tricky question, but let me give you one objective method also. Please see how. Can you see that 11 by 6 is 1 plus 5 by 6, which I can write as 1 by 2, 1 by 3 and 1 by 12 I think. By doing some hit and trial, it can be seen that 11 by 6 is equal to 1 plus 5 by 6. 5 by 6 further can be broken down into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 12. So this way, I think this will be 1 by 4. By checking your calculations, by doing hit and trial, you can check these are the values we are getting. And because of the way they are asking, there should be only one answer. You can rely upon these values also. There is no none of these options you can see. So you can rely upon this also, but this one.